Hello, welcome to the Overnight Journey Season 2, vlog number 33. I want to start by thanking Courtney for making a donation. It is greatly appreciated and goes to a great cause. I also want to thank everybody that shared the recent videos. It really makes a difference. It helps to get the word out. I'm trying to make sure that these vlogs contain useful information that helps raise awareness for mental health issues, lower stigmas, and ultimately helps to prevent suicide. So sharing the videos really makes a difference. So thank you very, very much. If you want to make a donation, you can click the link that's in the description of this video or just go to theovernight.org slash participant slash Nick. So far, we have raised $2,214 for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, 37% of the way to our goal of $6,000. On June 17th, I'll be going to Washington, D.C. with some of my very good friends, and we will be participating in the Overnight Walk. It is a fundraising walk for AFSP, and it also does a lot to raise awareness for mental health issues and provide support for those that have been affected by suicide, and I'm really looking forward to it. This will be my second year doing it. Today, I want to talk to you guys about men's mental health. And the suicide rates among men. So I want to give you some statistics. According to the CDC, 76.92% of suicides are men. That's roughly four out of five suicides are men. 3.5 times is how more often men are likely to die by suicide in comparison to women. White males accounted for 7 out of 10 suicides in 2015. So there's definitely a huge problem here. Men die 3.5 times more often by suicide than women do. Any loss to suicide is horrible. So we need to ask ourselves, why is that number so high? Why are the numbers so much higher for men than women? And the biggest question we need to answer is how do we lower those numbers? And ultimately across the board, we need to lower the numbers. Um, but specifically with men, what is it that causes those numbers to be so high? And I think the first thing that probably comes to everybody's mind is there are stigmas around suicide in general and mental health. And I think those stigmas are greater or stronger amongst the male population. Men are supposed to be strong. You don't cry. You're not supposed to have feelings or emotions. You don't talk about your feelings or emotions. So I think that's a big culprit. So what we can do to start is lower those stigmas. And that's part of why I'm doing what I'm doing is I want people to see other people talk about their emotions and feelings and hopefully they feel like they can do the same and I encourage you to do the same. We need to make sure that people feel like they can talk about their feelings. Men, it is okay to talk about your feelings. We all have them. Having feelings and emotions is normal and so talking about them, if you open up to you, people around you, Chances are they have felt the same thing. And so just talk about it. It is okay. Men need to lead the charge in this. So I challenge all of the men watching this to talk about your feelings, your emotions. Tell people when you're feeling down or depressed. Get out there and have conversations about mental health. And when people open up to you, don't shame them or make fun of them or belittle them. Be accepting. Be open. Allow people to share their feelings. If somebody has gotten up the courage to be able to, to talk about it, then hear them, listen to them, and definitely don't shut them down or make them feel bad about how they're feeling. Remember, everybody has a personal battle that they're fighting. They just may not talk about it. So love each other. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.